So I'm about to make up a manifold for the throttle bodies off of a Yamaha R1, about a 2002 model, 2002-2003 model. I've just bought new inlet rubbers. I bought a chunk of two and an eighth of an inch, which is about 53-54 mil, a bar which I'm going to turn and I've been supplied with this manifold which fits the VTS Citroen Saxo or a Citroen Saxo VTS. So I'll show you how I got on with that. Some of the sizes I've just quickly like, drafted down there. And that's the part number if you need the for that year of manifold. There's a 2002 2003 model. Right, so far I've machined up four blocks of alloy. I think they were 56 mil outside diameter or something like that. I've turned the groove to fit the inlet rubbers. I've done that in all of them and then I've put them into the mill and I've chamfered them at 26 degrees because that's the required angle to fit in the car. I've then moved them on to this wee jig that I've made up for holding various pipes, mainly exhaust pipes, and I'm starting to bore out the holes from the round hole here and this is one of the finished ones here. Well, it's nearly finished, I've still got to take the outside size down. And you can see that it's tapering from the circular hole coming out from the, I keep calling them carbs, but they are throttle bodies, the fuel injections, for fuel injection. But I'm just going to call them carbs from now on, so don't bother correcting me later on. So there we go. And the reason it's still slightly oval here is when they actually go into the manifold I'm going to take a small taper out of the edge here just to help the floor. These are the bars just before I go here. Here's, here's the... This one I'm using for really roughing out. I keep needing to, need to stop and wire brush all of these because the aluminium clogs them. And then I'm using one of these to smooth out the taper so that it's like this. Doing this, you can see here that I start off and just mill the edge of it before I put it into the linisher and smooth it off a fair bit. The reason that I'm taking the edge off of these is simply to clear this hole here on the manifold itself. That's just WD-40, it's going on it. I'm also turning this a wee bit slower to try and stop vibration going through the camera because it's sitting on the bed. I would usually do this a wee bit faster. And 
that's it, I'll just grind the rest of that off in the lunisher. So this is the manifold finished, I've just got a hole to drill here to put in a pipe to allow the constant vacuum to work and that'll be it finished. But I'm quite chuffed for that. I'm dying to see the car when it's all fitted and uh, find out how it performs. But you can see I've even ported the inside of this sort of radius rectangle shape so that it's a smoother transition from the tube to the square, from the round to the square. All in all it's turned out quite well. Hope the camera's picking that up. That's them all in place in the carburetors or in the fuel injecting bodies. And they're machined so that the carburetors sit at an angle of 26 degrees, 25, 26 degrees. So they'll sit like this.